two big moves. Two big moves happening happening today. Two animals are getting moved, and can't wait to see how this goes. Whew, y'all, I don't know how long we're gonna be outside today. Can y'all see this? Y'all see that smoke? They're doing a control burn behind us, and y'all, it is, you can hardly breathe out here, I'm not gonna lie, it is horrible. Whew, good gracious. That's not how I wanted to start my day at all. Mm. Well, we need to go ahead and get this move done. I feel sorry for Brent and the guys today. They may knock off early because of this. It literally, it's, it's, it's rough. I never would have thought it would have been quite that bad, but hmm, you can feel it in your lungs. But today, we gotta get this done. Brent and the builders are here today. They're hard at it, and guess what? I was right. I was right. Um, I said that they were gonna start the side trusses next and then put the roof on, and that's what they're doing. They are starting on the side trusses today, but I don't know how far they're gonna get. And then we may see roof today, or this right here may, um, hinder them and uh, they may knock off early if this gets too rough I don't know what to see for you guys that don't know this is our egg mobile this is our portable chicken coop that we move around on fresh ground for our chickens out here in the pastures well we recently added cheese our goose that we had our little goslin and we want cheese to be the guard goose of this flock because they're really, really great. Our geese are really, really great at um, protecting your chickens from mainly aerial predators, predators, but also small ground predators as well. And so Cheese has been in a little area, contained area out here, in with the flock so he can get used to them and they can get used to him. But he's not the only one. If you guys remember, Brooke got about a half a dozen Easter eggers because she wanted color eggs in our flock. And so she got about six or so Easter eggers. And as they got bigger, we took them out of the brooder and put them in the juvenile holding area that we have in the egg mobile. So again, they can get used to each other. They can see the adult chickens. The adult chickens can see them. So it won't be such a drastic and stressful situation when we do let them out. Well, those guys are big enough as well to get let out with the flock. So it's a big day today because cheese is gonna be let out and the Easter eggers are gonna be let out. And we're gonna gauge it and we want you guys to gauge it with us. So let's go over there and see how this is gonna work out. You wanna let cheese out first? Yeah, I think he's good and ready. Come on, baby, come see All your right, friend. All right, cheese. Come on, fella. Come on, baby, the door's open right here. There we go. There you go, cheese. Oh, he's so pretty. He is beautiful. I mean, he looks like a grown goose now. He does. Look, I, I, I know I've said it before, and because we've been doing videos for six years now, or getting close to seven, but goslings and ducklings grow faster than any poultry animal. I mean, ducks and goslings just go. And look at here. Cheese is not getting picked on. They're checking him out, though. Look at him. They're checking Cheese out. Now cheese has been, cheese has been with them for, I don't know, a few weeks now. A few he? weeks, but I can guarantee you, had we just put cheese in here without oh, yeah. isolating him, yeah, and them not realizing that he yeah. was going to be a member of their flock, it wouldn't have gone well. No, it wouldn't have gone well. And that's what we always recommend with any new addition yes. to an existing flock. Let it let it be in a separated area, but with the flock, so it'll know that it's actually okay. Let them get used to each other. And so, no drama with cheese. No drama with cheese. Now, there's going to be some drama with the uh, <laughs> chickens. I was about to say, I don't expect it to go this smoothly when we let the no. olive eggers out. Because cheese Easter is... Easter eggers. Cheese is a good bit bigger. Look at him. Oh, oh cheese is... If anything, cheese is showing dominance. 
There he is. Which is okay because he's not going to hurt them. No. Cheese is a good bit bigger and he's not a chicken. But these Easter eggers are chickens and chickens, like anything else in the animal kingdom, is going to have a pecking order. So the, uh, the girls that have been out here for a while, the old ladies and the new ladies, talking about the Rhode Island Reds, they're going to let these Easter eggers know that they've been here for a while. It won't be ugly. It's not going to be like something dangerous. We never had anything, you know. Nothing tragic nothing happened. Nothing tragic happened. But so the so the Easter eggers, I, they're, I'm more than likely, they're not even going to come out. They're going to stay in here, pretty much. We'll for, see. For a few days, I think. But the but the but the other girls are going to let them know who's boss right at first, and then that'll die out after a usually after a day. It, that'll that'll calm down. All right, y'all. Fixing to let you guys out. Girls, I'm sorry. Fixing to let you girls out. Y'all, come on. Like so. All right, you may have to back up and just leave I will the back there. up and see if they come out. We got one wanting to check it out. I'm so glad that we decided to utilize that area in the back for separation purposes. Yeah, yeah that was perfect. And I may or may not have some other chicks that'll be in here sooner than later. <laughs> oh my gracious. I can't wait to see what color these, these girls' eggs are gonna be. Yeah, me either. And people have been wanting to know about the uh, egg stand and it's doing fairly well for no advertising and you know, just, just putting it outside by the road, it's doing pretty good. It is, and it's been so easy for us to maintain it. Being here at the house, we can just drive up and replenish eggs and unlock the box and yep. take the funds and... So easy. Come on, girls. Well, the reason why I said that I knew they weren't gonna come out, the Rhode Island Reds did the same thing. Yeah. We got a Rhode Island Red in there showing her dominance. Let me get out of here. She may run them out herself. The cheese found the food. In the water. Did he? Yeah, not the cups. I call him he. I don't know if it's a he. No, not yet. Doesn't really matter. No. As long as he, as long as he. <laughs> as, long, as long as he's happy. <laughs> he sure likes that rooster. He likes that rooster. Gracious. Look how pretty they Aren't are. Aren't they beautiful? Mary you know, do you have a favorite? Me? That white one. My favorite is the black and white one. Is it? Yeah, this darker one. Uh-huh. Right That's the, your favorite too, Mary Carl? Yeah. That white, white one's my favorite. Or gray one. Those are wanting to check out the world. Yeah, I wish they'd jump down. There y'all go. It's okay. That one is pretty though, that dark one. Yeah. Yep. Somebody's being a good girl behind us. Of course. <laughs> when does she do otherwise? Yeah, Cheese is checking them. Oh, he's a little weary of them. <laughs> he's a little leery. He kind of jumped back, but Cheese is checking them out. The other girls are checking them out. Everybody's under the axle. They, they will accept them after they let them know that they've been here longer. You can see everybody else is gone. They, 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 uh, they said, hello, we're the boss. Glad y'all are here and we're gone. Stay out of my space and I'll stay out of yours. Yep. Aren't they pretty over there eating the grass? Yeah. And look at cheese. 
Now, Cheese will do a number on this grass now. Yes, he will. Once he gets to going and eating it, he will do a number. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you ever noticed, but the goose pasture grass is way shorter than Moody's yeah. pasture. Also, what you don't realize is, is that these girls, the Easter Eggers, have also established a picking order in their group. When they were in the brooder, they established a picking order, and the same thing happened in here happened in that brooder when they were chicks. So there is a hierarchy in that group, and now that group's got to adjust to this group which is another pecking order. Who knew that keeping chickens could be so diplomatic, right? Is that right, big boy? Hey, Roomba. What you doing, Roomba? We got Imogene out here and Goat and Fancy. There's Wilhelmina. That white chicken's Diane. She's an old girl there now. All right, well, I think all is good. That one's found its way back, which is good. I, yeah. I really wanted that to happen, so. We open the door back up. Yeah. And we'll allow them to go to their safe place. It's what they consider their safe place. Right. So that's good. It found the steps, recognized the steps, hopped up there, so. If one can do it, six awesome. others can too. Yeah, that's right. And then they'll follow each other, so they'll see that one go up there and then the rest of them will go up there. Look at Cheese in all his glory. <laughs> cheese over there. And you can see now everybody's gone from the chickens. They're right there now. And everybody's gone. They let them know the pecking order. And now all is good. So the biggest advice is to don't let it scare you to death. Right. Because it's natural. <laughs> He's showing his girls a little, he did show them something. little he, treat. He had found them something. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese is getting right up in the middle of them, ain't he? He said, y'all are my flock. <laughs> now, if we see anything that we think is uh, not in Cheese's best interest, we will separate him and go a different route. There he goes with his rooster friend. Now look at Cheese. Look at his head. Yeah, he the saw those ducks. Pigeons just flew over. I think it was ducks. Was it ducks? Yeah. Yeah, he looked up. And as he ages, he will be the first to alert the flock that there's a predator overhead. All right, we'll let you guys be. We'll check on y'all throughout the day and make sure everything's okay, which I know it's going to be. And uh, hope y'all have a wonderful day. Just want you to know, have your walkie-talkie on and your phone on because just in case you get a call from the mobile coop. Uh, we let cheese out and the Easter eggers out. So, you know, they may call you to come over there and, you know, keep keep the peace, you know? So just wanted to give you a, a heads up on that. Okay? All right, good deal. You have a lovely day, buddy. I mean, it's so nice to have a sheriff on your property. You know, it really is. So you saw the smoke this morning and we knew there was a control burn going on behind our property. But Mary Carl and I had to make run an errand and we decided to come down the county road that's back behind our property. And here you can see what they were doing. They're actually control burning underneath these pine trees to clear out the undergrowth. Look, there's some flames going on right there. And they had cut a fire break, which you can see right here, all the way around the perimeter of the property because obviously dirt won't burn and that prevents the fire from getting out. There we go. The day is the middle of April and this will be time, second time fertilizing my roses. And I'm gonna fertilize my roses every five weeks throughout the growing season. 
And I never even shown you guys this or taken you on this before. My first one was in the middle of March. Now again, I'm in central Alabama and I'm in zone eight and this is what I do. Each zone's different and all I know is what we do here. And it is time for me to fertilize the roses. And what I'm gonna use is, and this is the fertilizer that I'm using. This is uh, an organic rose fertilizer. It's rose tone. And I'm just gonna take a little, just a little handful and just sprinkle it around the roses. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. Also, when you're using a granular fertilizer, such as this rose tone or any type of granular, granular fertilizer, you wanna kinda of time it when a rain's coming. We got some rain coming tomorrow, so it's a good time for me to put the fertilizer out. If you don't do that, there's a chance you could burn your plants or worse because that fertilizer would just sit there on top of the ground. When the rain comes, it's gonna break it down, dissolve it, and then it'll go in the soil. So always time your fertilizing when it's gonna rain. And that's with granular. Now, if you're using a water-soluble fertilizer, it doesn't matter because it's already diluted. And uh, let me show you. I'm just gonna take me a handful of fertilizer and I'm just gonna sprinkle it around the base of the plant. And y'all, that's basically it right there. And we got, uh, we got a good bit to do, so let's get at it. And I think these two put me at 46 roses. I'm over here where the climbing pinky rose is. That's right where the egg mobile is. So I want to check and see how cheese and the Easter eggers are doing. Y'all, cheese seems to be doing quite well. Look at there. All right, so cheese is okay. Let's go find the Easter eggers. And I got a feeling we're gonna have some inside the coop. It probably went back up. There may be some under here. Let me peek inside first. Oh, there's one, I see one in here already. Which is good, because that means it can get back in. See it right there, in the back? Right behind Ono? It's the only one I see in there. Hey, Imogene. So, let's see here what we got. Roomba, where's the rest of them? I hear them. Oh, that's, that's cheese I hear, sorry. Hey, cheese. What's up, buddy? There they are. There they are. Okay, guys. They're still here. So they're under the trailer still, which is fine. It's gonna take them a little bit, but y'all wait and see. Y'all wait and see. They're gonna be just like the Rhode Island Reds in no time. And you girls have been fairly sweet, I must say. You really are. That's why I love Rhode Island Reds. Moody, you see them hard edit on the barn this morning? They are hard edit. Reckon how far are they gonna get today? Yeah, I think so too. I think they gonna get the trusses, those side trusses finished today for sure. So in our last, last live stream, if you guys missed it, uh, me and Brooke talked about freeze drying and that she wanted to try freeze drying peeps. You know, the little yellow marshmallow uh, candies that you get around Easter time and that they'll probably be gone because Easter is gonna go away and you really don't see them that often when Easter is gone, but her and Mary Carl absolutely love peeps. And so we're thinking about freeze drying some peeps. And you guys told her where to find peeps right now on sale, on clearance, because Easter's over with. And I just got a text from her 
and she said that she has hit the peep jackpot. I have officially hit the peep jackpot. And we're fixing to freeze dry some peeps. I don't know how many she got, I ain't got a clue, but <laughs> we shall soon find out. What's that? Open the back door. Open the back door. Oh my gracious. Freeze drying the peeps. Yes. I took our follower suggestions yeah. and I checked out the Dollar Tree mm -hmm. because they advise that they may have an abundance of just plain yellow peeps, which is what Mary Carl and I both like. Right. Don't like the flavored ones. And I bought 150 of them. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. <laughs> that'll be enough. You ready to freeze dry some I peeps? I want to freeze dry some peeps. Let's I want to see, how, see how they turn out. I do too. I'm curious. I'm guessing they're going to be like a giant Lucky Charms marshmallow well, when we freeze dry them. If they are, that'll be fantastic. Yes. But if I eat 150 of them, I might need a trip to the dentist. Well, here's the thing. If we freeze dry these peeps 25 years from now, you can eat it. That's right. You know, so I it's mean, not like it's... <laughs> You don't like to eat them all. I'm good for that long, yeah, right? You don't have to eat them all at one time. Okay. 150. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. How many do you think is going to fit on a thing? I've already divided it out. I think four. 20. I said I'm going to do 37 per sheet. You think 37 and get on there? Well, I hope so because that's what my math tells me I need to be able okay. to fit. Uh, Maybe you're wrong. I think don't you think separate them? Oh, gosh. There'll be more than four. Yeah, I would separate them. All right, so there's five per thing. This is gonna be, you know what? Um, so five feet on there, so I'm gonna bump it up 25. No, 37. You <laughs> no, I'm thinking since there's not that much much moisture in these. It's not gonna take long. It's not gonna take as long as it does, say like the collard greens or yeah, something like that. You're probably right. So uh, if you wanna take a guess, how long do you think it's gonna take? I still think it's gonna take 12 hours. Do you? Yeah. At least 12 hours. All right, so we ended up putting 35 on the tray, so Brooke was pretty close. You said 37. 35, 70. It's going to be 140 total. Is that right? It's 140. All right. Lock it up. And close the valve. Close the valve. All right, the valve. The valve is closed. Got a Harbor Strike freeze dryer here. Got the peeps loaded up. I'm gonna cut it on. All right, so now we're waiting for it to come on. Here we go. Again, show you guys how easy it is to freeze dry things. We got our trays loaded. Gonna hit start. This is not frozen, of course, cause it's peeps. Not frozen. The, uh, Drain valve is closed. Continue. Now it says freezing. All right. We'll check back and see how these guys turn out. I think they're gonna be like big giant Lucky Charms marshmallows. And I think I'm gonna like them more than I do now. I'm not a big fan of the yellow peeps. Y'all, check it out. Day three in the books, and look what they got done today. They got, and I was right. Well, I guess we was both right. I, I, I say that. I, I want to say we were both right. Me and Brooke were both right on this. I said the next thing they're going to do is they're going to put the lean-to trusses up, which they did. She said, no, I think they're going to start on the roof, which they did as well. So we'll, we'll call that even, right? We'll call that even. Look, we got a roof starting to appear on the pole barn. This is, it's awesome. I mean, I probably say it a million times, maybe my favorite word, but it is. Wow, and look at this. Wow, wow, wow. So the roof part will probably go fairly fast, I'm guessing, I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to put the roof on it, but it may take them a day. And then we'll have a roof and then we'll start on the sides, but this is great. And too, I want to, uh, let you guys know thank y'all so much for the feedback on the floor oh my gracious 
we've got so much great feedback because we're talking about concrete, gravel, not for sure, but you guys gave us so much feedback and so many options now that uh, I think we can make the right decision for what we want to do here. Absolutely. Number one, we will be putting, and we, we really wouldn't clear in the video, but we will be putting stall mats down. So the animals will be on a rubber mat, that's for sure. Now what's under that stall mat, we don't quite know yet, but y'all have given us emails, messages, y'all have given us so many options. And we truly, truly thank every single one of y'all. That helped out a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And y'all look how clean it is. That's one thing, boy, I tell you what, he keeps a daggum clean uh, job site. I tell y'all that. I mean, when they get through at the end of the day, they pick up everything that they thrown down. You don't see no empty bottles or, I mean, it's, it's clean. I appreciate that. And today may be their last day for the week because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And luckily no severe weather, just, just regular old rain, which we need. And I don't foresee them coming tomorrow for sure but we'll see they may come next day we'll just see how much rain we get and what the weather turns out to be like so it is the next morning we're gonna go check on the peeps the freeze-dried peeps and actually it was we, they probably would have been ready last night, but around 9, 9.30, they're in the final dry. And we, we, we were tired and we went on to bed. So we're gonna go check them and see, they should be ready. And I'm anxious to see what the freeze dried peeps look like, taste like, what the texture's like. I'm still thinking a giant Lucky Charms marshmallow, but let's go find out. Look in there. All right, it says process complete and we're gonna hit defrost. It took 14 hours. 14 hours? Yep. I want you so to listen. Close. All right, there listen. we go. You hear them peeping? <laughs> They're ready. I them peeping. All right, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta open the valve or uh -huh. you won't be able to open that door. That's right. Because it has a big vacuum on it. Y'all hear it? Got some of that air out before we open the door. But, uh, so, so are you thinking crunchy? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm still thinking Lucky Charms Marshmallow. Okay, we're about to find out. Mm. And the tray is probably pretty cold. No peep. No peep. I see one moving. It's going to be crunchy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I get this. Go Ready? ahead. Ready? Yeah. What's it like? Just like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. <laughs> Is it, does it taste any different? I'm gonna try it. That's exactly what it's like. It's like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. It's like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. Pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I actually like them better this way. Do you? Mm-hmm. Kind of like me and the figs. Mm-hmm. Who knows what we'll freeze dry next. Wow. I'm on it now. That's pretty good. We're on a toast. toast that is pretty a good. Pig. Gotta go give one to Mary Carl now. Make a crunch. Can y'all hear the crunch? <laughs> hey, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Better than I expected. Freeze dried peeps. All right. Process complete. If you guys are interested in a Harvest Right freeze dryer, I will put a link down below. And if you were to use our link, we would, we do get a small commission at no extra cost to you guys. And it does help us out a lot. And this is quite cool um we're gonna do all kind of crazy stuff i think with our harvest right freeze dryer plus we can't wait till vegetable season is here and in full swing i actually like them better this way mm -hmm. 